What is going on guys? Nick here, back with another video. I just picked up the brand new DJI Mini 2 and I've been pretty impressed by it so far, but I thought it might be time to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the original Mavic Mini and also see how the Yagi parabolic mirror matches up with the OcuSync 2. So let's take a look. Okay, so if you haven't seen my videos before, this is how my test works. Um, basically, I just fly up to 350 feet and then I head all three flights out in the same direction. And then that way you can get a side-by-side uh, -side comparison of uh, what your screen would look like for each flight at the same time at uh, comparable distances. Um, so one logistical issue I did kind of run into here is the Mini 2 is actually much faster than the uh, original Mavic Mini. Um, the Mini 2 in sport mode will go 35 miles an hour. Um, I did slow it down. I only went 25 so that I could match the speed of the uh, Mavic Mini um, so that, you know, the flights would match up a little better. Um, so on the top left-hand side, we have the controller by itself, so there's no range extenders on it at all. Um, we have the Yagi plus the reflector on the top right-hand side. And then the uh, Mini 2, that's just the controller by itself. There's no assist or anything like that on the uh, Mini 2 controller. So um, you're just seeing OcuSync 2 on the bottom. I uh, also did a couple gimbal rotations just so you could kind of get a feel for how much lag there was in the signal. Um, so you can see there is just a little bit going on with the uh, Mavic Mini on both the controller and the Yagi plus the reflector screen. Um, nothing really too terrible, uh, although the controller does seem to be crapping out right now. Uh, the Mini 2 just sailing along, no real issues at all. It's just handling out without any problem at all. Um, so the Mini controller, I'm getting a total video signal loss I've got it back so sometimes if you stop and then start going again sometimes you'll regain the signal um, it doesn't really seem like that's gonna happen with the controller here unfortunately um, but you can see the mini plus the Yagi and reflector combo uh, it's still going along um, so at this point we'll go ahead and we'll send the uh, controller home it's not really much um, much of a point to continue All right, so now you have the uh, Mini 2 versus the uh, Yagi and Reflector combo. Um, so we lost video feed there with the uh, Yagi and Reflector. So slowing it down, trying to see if we can get it back. Doesn't really seem like that's going to happen. Mini 2 is just still having no issues. I did a little slight like rotation around the, uh, I think it's a mosque down there. So today we're having pretty serious issues with the uh, Yagi and Reflector. Now what's weird is I've made this flight before um, a pretty good amount of times. And this was definitely a bad day flying with the uh, Yagi and Reflector. Um, I have it set to automatic channel and it's usually not an issue at all um, with finding whatever channel is going to be most efficient. Um, but for whatever reason today, maybe there's just more Wi-Fi or something like that going on. But... Um, it just wasn't really working very well, so at this point, I'll go ahead and send the uh, Yagi and Reflector, or Yagi Reflector home. So we have the Mini 2 having no issues really at all, still able to rotate the gimbal up and down about uh, 8,500 feet right now, crossing over to 86. Now, if you look back at my previous video where I compared the uh, Yagi Reflector to just the Yagi by itself. Um, I did make it about this far um, on a good day, so it is possible to make it out as far as the Mini 2. It just may not be every single time you make that attempt that you're going to be able to get the same distance out of it. Um, I'm basically, when I'm flying, I'm just standing, pointing in the exact same direction, trying to align with exactly where the drone is in the air so that I get as much signal out of it as possible. So the Mini 2 is still chugging along, no issues at all, just crossed over 10,000 feet. Uh, if you notice though, I did lose a little bit of signal here. Okay, so first time the video feed dropped for the uh, Mini 2. And now one other thing to notice, um, and this is something I would tell anybody who's doing any bit of range flying. Uh, if you see that little bit of green bar, that's what the drone calculates 
um, the amount of time you have until you absolutely have to come back. I have found that this is extremely accurate and um, I really wouldn't mess with this pushing it too far beyond the uh, the green. So when that runs out, I would highly recommend turning back. So still, uh, we've lost a little bit of signal with the Mini 2, but it is still chugging along. Uh, just crossed over 11,000 feet. Can we get to 12? There we go, 12,000. But uh, at this point, We've pretty much lost video signal. Um, I've definitely crushed the other two. And you can see, you know, when I stop and I regain the signal that, you know, I can still kind of rotate the gimbal up and down smoothly. So it's pretty good. But there is no way at any point I would have been able to do this with the uh, Yagi and Reflector. I've never made it out this far. Okay, so that was kind of a surprising result, but not that crazy compared to what I've usually experienced while owning the Mavic Mini. In the past, I've definitely been able to get out farther than I did today with the Yagi Parabolic Mirror combination. I think one of the biggest differences is there is a lot of variation from day to day between how much range you can actually get with the Mavic Mini. That's just something I've noticed. Some days I really can't get very far in comparison to others. I'm not always sure why that is. With OcuSync 2 so far, I really haven't had those issues at all. Day to day, the range has been pretty consistent with everything I've tried so far. I think that it is kind of nice to be able to rely on such a consistently stronger signal. If you look at my other two range tests I've done, with the original Mavic Mini, I've been able to make it out to 10,000 feet in the past, but for whatever reason today that just wasn't happening. Thanks for watching.